Well, Holly Tobe. Good morning, everyone. I'm Assistant Chief Jack Austin, Jr., and it is an honor to be able to be here today and welcome you to our special event and to be able to share some of our rich Choctaw culture with you. But before we begin, I've asked Mr. Waddell Hearn if he would open us with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord and Father, we're thankful and blessed for yet another day that you've given us. Thankful for this week and this weekend that you've given us to come here and to fellowship with family and friends from all across the world and to just uplift you in spirit and truth and to get to share our culture with, uh, with many people that may not get to, to come in contact with it. We're very thankful and blessed for what you've given us and pray that we never take it for granted. Again, we love you. We thank you for the day. Pray that we make the most of it. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you, Waddell. Well, at this time, we're going to have the Lord's Prayer performed for you, beginning with Mr. Brad Joe, our Choctaw Royalty, Miss Choctaw Nation Neotha Hardy, Junior Miss Lauren Crosby, Little Miss Ariana Byington. If you give them a big round of applause. Ahika Kilin Kashofi Anuk Palika Ish Pila Wilina Nanuk Polo Kipakofichi Che Ma Pelichika Istayanti Holy Topa Yat Thank you, Brad. Thank you, ladies. Again, we are so honored to be here today, and we welcome each and every one of you. We're so glad that you were able to be out, come out and be with us today. But this time, I have the honor of introducing a gentleman that not only leads our great tribe, but has dedicated his life to preserving our culture and ensuring that it is here for generations to come. And at this time, it's my privilege to introduce our chief, Chief Gary Batten. Well, good morning, everybody. It is indeed an honor for us to be here in the nation's capital. And what a, a glorious day it is. And uh, I don't know if you realize it, but you honor us very much by coming out today and letting us highlight our culture and our history to you. 
And uh, I always tell these two stories, um, you know, I, I, in highlighting the Choctaw Nation and who we are as people. I think about Joseph Oklahoma, which was an original, uh, he was one of our code talkers in World War I that actually ended the war early by using the Choctaw Nation's language because the, the Germans kept intercepting our signals. And uh, also Joseph Oklahoma, we're trying to get him the Congressional Medal of Honor right now because he captured over 171 soldiers by himself. And he was quite a Tushkahoma, a red warrior as we call him. And to also think about, um, we came across the Trail of Tears, we signed the Treaty of Dance in Rabbit Creek in 1830. And then we made that trek from Mississippi to now what is called Oklahoma. And during that trek, we lost about a fourth of our people. But after we got to present day Oklahoma, we turned around and we heard about the Irish potato famine. And we, the Choctaw people, uh, back then we didn't have those casinos and things. And they, they actually reached into their pockets, pulled out dollars, and sent uh, $171 over to the people of Ireland during their, their hardship. And that's a type of servant leaders that our Choctaw people are. They, we've always been about community. We've always been about our tribal members. We've always been about our faith and our family. And also we're about our culture. And uh, I look over here and I see this young lady wearing her traditional dress and that pink and that just looks awesome because that's what we're trying to instill is that our tribal members, there's about 200,000 of us throughout the whole world now that are Choctaw. And we're just proud that you would come here and spend your time with us. I would encourage you though, today we have some wonderful uh, artisans here. Uh, uh, Norma Howard, Presley Byington, I know Tim Tingle, uh, Jerry and Shirley Lohman are here. We have people on the third and fourth floor that's doing uh, beadwork and artwork and different things. And I'd encourage you to go up participate and take some of those things and learn about uh, our Choctaw Nation and our history and our culture. But just thank you so much for honoring us today. Yako Ki. Thank you and God bless.